a rematch from last season's postseason in which Witch Doctor eliminated Minotaur. Witch Doctor! And saying it was controversial is an understatement. We talked about it all night, but that fight changed the sport forever. Rules changed, fans went crazy, Reddit threads had to be shut down, and maybe that motivated these teams in the offseason, because here they are, looking stronger than ever before, ready to throw down for the top seed in the tournament. Absolutely, we know how badly these two squads want this, and I think this fight is less about last year's controversy and more about showing definitively who's got the best bot this season. They've had big KOs, three-minute brawls, and both have had fight of the year candidates. When we talk about what it means to be a tournament team, these two are the gold standard. No one's going to complain when one of these teams takes that top seed, and I don't think anybody will be surprised to see one or both of them in the finals. So here's how these two match up. Both weapons have improved since last season. Minotaur's drum spins up quicker, while Witch Doctor's disc is now about 50% more powerful. A drivetrain advantage for Witch Doctor, but Minotaur has still got Daniel Freitas. So what do you think will be the difference in this one, Kenny Florian? Well, I went back to the tape of that last fight, and I noticed that at least before the fight was stopped, Witch Doctor lost every weapon-to-weapon -weapon engagement. Look at that. Minotaur's center of mass is just so low, it almost uppercuts Witch Doctor when they went head-to-head. -head. Where Witch Doctor was successful, though, was when Daniel Freitas did his signature one-wheel move. While it allows Minotaur to quickly reposition and usually helps them win fights, Tipping it up raises its center of mass and makes the weapon less effective. And major credit to Mike Lately, because while most drivers steer clear during this move, he attacked with surgical precision every time he saw it. That excellent driving scored them the damage points they needed to win. We'll see if Daniel adjusts, but keep an eye on things when he uses this move tonight. This is going to be a great one. This is an all-time classic. I can't wait to watch it again, even though it hasn't happened. So let's get to it. Baruch. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's time for the main event! In the red square, like the Chicago Bulls of the 90s, this bot dominates its sport and would have ruled that sport too. It just doesn't look good in shorts. Dennis Rodman couldn't rebound, Scotty Pippen would be defenseless, and Michael Jordan would never be the GOAT had this bull knocked him senseless. It's Minotaur! Here comes the Brazilian bull Minotaur. Daredevil driver Daniel Freitas on the left, longtime captain Marco Mancellaro on the right, Remember, Marco wasn't able to be with the team last season, so what kind of difference will that make here tonight, Kenny? Well, Marco is the calming force for these guys, and like an offensive coordinator to a QB, he's in Daniel's ear every second of every match. He's kept their focus razor sharp this season, and it's helped them execute game plans to perfection. I think he'll have a big impact on this rematch. In the blue square, captained by one of TV's greatest couples who designed a killer bot that would show no love to Lucy or Ricky, put them in a different kind of plot. Zach and Kelly from Bayside, they died thanks to the beating that it gives. It rode all the way to Bel Air to take out Uncle Phil and both Aunt Biz. Give it up for Witch Doctor! Witch Doctor, led by the husband and wife duo, Mike and Andrea Galately. And that young man in the middle is 13-year-old Will pushing out the robot. Will is battling a rare genetic disease known as ALD. His dream was to come to BattleBots to meet his favorite team. Now, thanks to Make-A-Wish Foundation, he has got a front row seat to the fight of the season. Yeah, what a night for the young fan to be here. He's about to witness some history. Now, Witch Doctor is going to try to take away Minotaur's center of mass advantage tonight with these new forks. They're designed to get under their drum and should help when they go weapon to weapon. Good job, Will. That was awesome. And 
And while we've talked an awful lot about their last fight, this will actually be the third time Minotaur and Witch Doctor have fought. Minotaur won back in World Championship 3, so the series is tied 1-1. One to one. That was the year Minotaur lost to Bite Force in the finals. These two teams, two of the best of the sport has ever seen. And let's see who the other builders are taking in the rubber match. They like... Minotaur. And that makes sense. I think Minotaur is the overall favorite to win the nut right now, but I'll be honest, I've never seen Witch Doctor look this destructive. Mike and Andrea said they've only cranked the weapon up to 50% power so far, but tonight they're taking it to 75. Between the history and what's on the line, this should feel like a championship level fight. Minotaur pinning Witch Doctor again. This is straight out of a fighter's playbook. Daniel looking to catch his breath and try and change up the pace of this match. I'm not sure either team has much life left in its weapon, Chris. And there's a little bit of movement from Minotaur's drum spinner, but now it seems to be dealing with an issue on its left side. He's crab walking, he's crab walking. Yeah, Minotaur's lost half of its drive. Witch Doctor's weapon is completely non-functional. Now it's a matter of who can score points in the aggression and control categories down the stretch. This is going to be a pushing match. Two of the best drivers in the world, two of the best teams in the world. They are laying it on the line here in this high stakes rematch. So much energy expended. Now willing themselves to the finish line. What is going to happen to the final 30 ticks? Well, here Daniel Freitas trying to bully Witch Doctor around, trying to show Superior control and aggression. Witch Doctor trying to push back, still dealing with that traction issue. That opening flurry from Minotaur really put Witch Doctor on the back foot in this fight, tore up its front wedge, and compromised Michael Lately's ability to drive the robot the way he wanted to. Under 10 seconds to go. The battle of 3 0 teams, both dreaming of a one seed, but only one can remain perfect. The judge's scorecard. All teams moving back to their squares to show they are still functional. Kenny, fans across the globe at this match circled the moment the schedule was released, and it did not disappoint. My goodness, Daniel Freitas unloaded on Witch Doctor to start this fight, tearing up its front wedge and ripping off those new forks. But how about Mike Galately with a counter shot that shook the arena, sent Minotaur flying into the short corner. 
I felt that one in my chest, Chris. What a move by Daniel Freitas to narrowly avoid the follow-up from Witch Doctor. After another huge collision, Minotaur turned it on. I thought really showed some incredible control. This was unreal, Chris. Minotaur with the full charge, steamrolling Witch Doctor across the box on that compromised tire. And I thought it was genius of Daniel Freitas to pin Witch Doctor against the rail, catch a breath, and show control in the process. Big time pressure on the judges here. So who comes out on top? Listen, aggression should be a split. I have Minotaur winning control, but as always, damage will tell the story. Both weapons went down, both robots were limping at the closing bell, but Minotaur did get to those front forks and chew up Witch Doctor's front end. This is going to be very close. The results from the judges are in. The winner by unanimous decision is... Marco, congratulations. You guys are 4-0. How does that feel? Oh, that's the best thing. Uh, I have to say something. The best thing about this match, about winning against Witch Doctor, uh, is because uh, they are very good robots. They are very well-ranked robots. Uh, it's, there's nothing to do with any personal grudge. We love them. Uh, last year, they did all they had to do with the rules to win. They were trying to win, and we think the rules they had, the rules this year are better. You used to get some more closure on the fight. I love that. You, you have to not to confuse people, the bots from their builders. We want to kill Witch Doctor, but we love and we respect a lot Andrea and Mike. You know, we'll never get personal then about something that happened inside that box, you know? What happens inside the battle box, it stays in the battle box. Thank you. Marco, well said. Thank you.